Mr. Njum, you are a member of a civil society. At this juncture, how do we prevent such extrajudicial killings from happening? Because the population, we understand, are caught up in the middle. Those who cannot run out of the regions are stuck there. If they are not targeted today, probably by a street bullet, they were targeted by the separatists, or they might commit a crime that will end the minute dragnet to the military. How do we end such uh, atrocities, killings of the population? Uh, if wishes were horses, I would have opted that the president of the republic goes down to Northwest and apologize to the people, goes to Southwest and apologize to the people. Unfortunately, I am not and a member. Do you think that will in any way solve yes. the problem? I, for and one, uh, I have a feeling if the president goes down to Norway today, I will give him my support 100%. And I will carry uh, the crusade. And the question is, would peace. that immediately solve the problem? And what no, would that there, solve? What there is no way. Look, with the, I, don't play, I don't play hypocrisy, Luis. There is no immediate stop to the crisis. It must take a process. The problem is that from the start, they never knew. They thought they were just going to take a sharp bend and everything was going to be the way they wanted. But they met with a stiff eye up. And what I was saying is that since it cannot be stopped like magic, the first step, the president of the republic has to go down to the field, apologize to the people of southern Cameroon. That's one. Since I'm not a member of the government, I can only propose. If they like, they can take it. If they like, they should not take it. Okay. As we are asking the boys to down their guns, I don't know how I can be asking people to down guns that I did not ask them to pick up guns. I will be saying it simultaneously that uh, let the military go back to the barracks and let and the boys now drop, we, let the boys drop their guns. Okay. The boys so which should happen first? The guys should drop their guns or the military should go back to the No, it should be simultaneous. It should be simultaneous. If the no, head of look at, look at the, the head of state yeah. has to call for a ceasefire, that ceasefire at that time will clearly send a message to every Cameroonian. So that if you hear that there is somebody in Batibo, there is somebody in Mbweni, there is somebody in Belo still holding up a gun, let the population take its responsibility rally behind the head of state to know that these people are the ones who do not want peace. The confusion has often been that if the government forces go back to the barracks, mm -hmm. these boys will kill everybody who was maybe uh, collaborating with the military. Mm -hmm. But then, have we tried it? The head of state has not first of all pronounced ceasefire. That is where you have to start. That said, I equally want to think that our elites have a role to play. Okay. They have been sleeping for long. Singing and dancing in Yaoundé in the name of pressing the president has not been helping issues. All right. That is where I have often said, I am not against anybody doing politics, Luis. I'm against the manner in which people do their politics. If you are doing your politics of your one-man show at the detriment of the population, that is what I'm against. Mm. So. I will only repeat, the head of state has what it takes to end this crisis tomorrow. Right. But he has refused to do so. And again, the people he has chosen to collaborate with them have been the wrong collaborators because they have added more fuel to an already burning fire than what would have quelled down that fire. Okay. All right. Uh, thank you, Mr. Njirum. Um, Metro, uh before we come to you, let's hear John Bakuro. Just briefly, as we were going out of the first topic, what do you think can be done to stop the killing of the population? Just briefly, we are wrapping up with the first topic and we shall be discussing the second topic just briefly. So uh, your reaction to what do you think can be done to stop these killings? You were talking about the leadership and who gives instructions to these guys to commit the crimes they are committing. I first of all want to remark that uh, sometimes I feel I have the feeling that you just bring me to the program as to the gasoline. 
They don't give me room to talk. When I start talking, I mean, before I notice it, I get cut. Other panelists actually take time to elaborate their points. So I will request that if you bring me onto the program, let me also be able to express myself. That said, going now to your question, I first of all want to note that uh, nobody's going to drop any gun down. Not a single person will drop a single gun down until the government of the Republic of Cameroon comes to his senses to understand that we have to meet on the nature table to discuss the root causes of this conflict. Where we are now, we have gone past that point where somebody will just sit in a bedroom somewhere and start shouting, let them drop down their guns. How do they pick guns? Because no, nobody in southern Cameroon has ever dreamed about having to pick guns to do anything. That's why you know the motto of the SCNC from, from inception has remained the force of argument and not the argument of force. No one forced that on us. But when they started killing our people, raping our women, I mean, raising down our, our structures, the people were forced to defend themselves. And self-defense is a right recognized internationally. So how will this end? There is just one thing that needs to happen. La Republic of Cameroon needs to know that they have to come to the table. If they don't come to the table, I'm assuring you, the boys are increasing in capacity every day. Every day. The Republic of Cameroon should not dream that they will win something militarily. It will not happen. It will not happen yesterday. It will not happen today. It will not happen even tomorrow. Because as the days are going by, the boys are getting more refined. And contrary to Kedia and the other misguided uh, elites are to deceive the Republic to think, Listen, they're increasing in number. They are not reducing. That is why recently, when they took Boya by storm, everybody was surprised because they were told by Kedia and the others that they were just about three of them left in the bush. So what I want to make you know is that when you refuse to talk peacefully with a people who have called your attention to their plight several times, and you prefer to use the higher hand, you prefer to use war, the people will offer you war. And for the Ambazonians, I'm, I'm telling you, Mr. Big Bang, right here on motion television, that the people of Southern Cameroon will never drop guns. We will never, ever drop them again. We were stupid in 1961. We will never be stupid again. So the like, people of Cameroon better come to their senses and come to the negotiation table. It will never end. Thank you.